Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. Today we are working on part four of this custom order series. And today we're gonna to be working on some embellishing. So I've made a decision. I have never used one of these giant cards as a tuck spot, right? So usually I've used them as like a journaling card. So I think we're going to adhere this here and have it as a tuck spot. I think that is a lot of fun. So that's what we're gonna do um, for that page. I wanna make sure I put the glue on the right side. Now this has a little bit of a shiny surface to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sandpaper this edge a little bit. I do that to make sure that it will adhere properly. Sometimes shiny surfaces are not porous and then they won't adhere uh, for the long term. It would adhere temporarily but it might pop up a little ways down the road, and we don't want that. So I am gonna wipe that now with my napkin and make sure I got all, oops, <laughs> make sure I got all the dust off. See, and you can see there was still some red dust on there, so let's wipe that again. Yep, even still. I am gonna use this Fabri-Tac, because it basically glues everything. And you know, this is just gonna use it on here for, to make sure it's got a real good grip. We will come back and embellish this card, but we're gonna wait till it dries. So since we have a card over here that we're using as a tuck spot, let's go ahead and do one up here in the corner also as a tuck spot. All right, we have our cards in. So this is gonna be really fun to use these as tuck spots, I think. Okay friends, so I adhered a small envelope to this envelope and then adhered some stickers. This says it takes 37 muscles to frown, 17 to smile, and 7 to twist the throttle. And then over here for a little pocket I added a Monopoly card. And so I thought the colors, you know, they, they went well together. So let's check out our next page. Alright, so we've got another dark spread, which I think the black and the gray look so good together. But let's decide what we want to do here for pockets. Hey friends, I'm enjoying these cards so much and look at how the black and white one looks so good on this spread. So we're gonna put this one over here. And then I decided to use some of my coffee dyed papers. I made a little three stack and then that's gonna go right up here. And that way we're not covering the image. Okay, we got those adhered. I did add a little sticker embellishment. <laughs> um, and I do actually wanna add something across the top of this, but maybe I should wait till we're actually doing our embellishing. So we can wait, we'll wait on that. All right, so in a previous episode, we already did this side, and I think it was because I really wanted to use this material and I, I just didn't want to forget about it. But what are we going to do over here? Let's get that figured out.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this here, and I like that it's going to pull in some of the orange from this side over to here. This blue is a little bit brighter, but I think I'm okay with that. Um, actually, as I say that, I'm going to go around the edge with this darker blue. It's not going to make a huge difference because it's only right on the edge, but it will enhance it a little bit. All right, so we got that done. And then off camera yesterday, I went ahead and used the bottom portion of a popcorn bag as a tuck spot. Now we are going to cut this shirt apart. Friends, so I disassembled the shirt and what we're going to do is we're going to flip through our signatures and decide where we want to use pieces of it and for what purpose. Here you'll see that I am inking a piece of paper, but I'm going to layer that paper onto one of these pockets and then I'm going to add a button from the shirt to it. I used Aileen's Tacky Glue to adhere the material to the paper and I'm actually, since it was handy, I'm actually using it on the paper to attach it to this little pocket as well. I think this big card fits really nicely inside of this little tuck and the back of it is plain so it can be journaled on. And I'm putting a piece of coffee dyed paper in the other pocket. Here I have this really nice grungy looking piece of coffee dyed paper. I think it goes perfectly in this journal so I'm just going to slide that in this pocket here. I have this brown paper here and I'm not sure where I got it from but I'm going to go ahead and tear the edges and it'll kind of give it a rustic look and I think that'll be a lot of fun for this journal and then before I place it in the pocket I'm going to go ahead and add a sticker to it, one of the camping stickers. I'd like to add a little bit of green to this piece of paper here so I am just going to go ahead and use some ink and stamp some floral, not floral, but uh, plant life and then also a dragonfly on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with this lighter piece of coffee dyed paper as well. I've decided to add some stamping to this vintage scorekeeper here and I've also decided to add a stamp that I think coordinates quite well and it says solitude on it. I've decided to add another piece of coffee dyed paper to this spread. I do like to put a lot of the papers into the journals that I make because it gives plenty of room for journaling. Here I've decided to use another piece of the fabric on the pocket and I'm kind of making a snippet but I'm making it like right in place. <laughs> so I've got the fabric and I am layering it with some paper and then on top of that I am putting an image of a camera. I'm adding another piece of coffee dyed paper, but you'll notice that I put a 
image of a camera on there, but that's a stamp. And actually, that stamp was given to my son, Andrew, by Pam at Pam's Paper Place. I have some pretty neat images from video games, and I thought the colors were really, really great for this journal. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm cutting out this image. It's from a Nerf video game that my kids used when they were younger, and it, it's just perfect in this journal. I've got a belly band here, and so I've decided to go ahead and embellish it with a strip of the fabric from the shirt that I disassembled, and of course, again, using uh, the Fabri-Tac to adhere that to the pocket. I could have sewn it onto the belly band before I adhered that to the page, but I didn't want sewing in this journal. Um, I just didn't want that sort of vibe in this journal. This tag that you see here, this is actually a paint chip, and I'm going to use that to adhere the Nerve picture onto. I sanded it slightly because it did have a shiny top to it, so I wanted to get that off of there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this Nerf image. All right, friends, this spread is done. I've got the paper in here. I embellished with some material, and then this Nerf thing that I cut out of a, it's like a video game packaging. And then over here, this actually is from the motorcycle paper pack, and it's a chain, but it looks like a bullseye, so I thought it was kind of perfect. And then under that is some of the silver coffee dyed paper, and then some more of the shirt material. Well, friends, even though I have a few more pages in this spread, that's probably going to be it for this video. And the next video you see with this journal might just be the flip through. I don't know if I'm going to continue to record more or not. I'll see how I feel. And um, anyway, I wanted to thank you for watching. See you soon.